Somewhere in the silent depths of the Sagittarius constellation, a giant is dying. Not peacefully, but violently. This isn't just another fading star in the night sky. It's a volatile and unstable cosmic monster. A star so aggressive that it's been tearing itself apart for thousands of years. Its surface burns hotter than nearly anything we've observed in the universe. Its winds blast matter into space at millions of kilometers per hour. And deep within, pressure is building. And the terrifying thing is that it appears to be aimed directly at us, pointed like a loaded cannon across the galaxy, spinning, waiting, ready to release something far more devastating than any supernova. A gamma ray burst, the most powerful explosion in the universe. One that wouldn't just light up the sky, it could erase entire atmospheres. If it fires, we won't see it, we won't hear it, we'll simply cease to exist. This is WR104, the most dangerous star we've ever discovered. And it may be the single greatest existential threat humanity has never heard of. This gigantic star is not an ordinary star. It's part of an elite, terrifying class of cosmic titans known as wolf Rayet stars, a name that sounds mythical and for good reason. These stars are rare, extremely rare. Less than 0.1% of all stars ever reach this stage. Because to become a wolf Rayet, a star must first be enormous, at least 25 times the mass of the sun. And then, it must begin to die in the most violent way imaginable. Picture a furnace so hot, it melts not metal, but atoms. These stars burn at temperatures exceeding 200,000 degrees Celsius, fusing heavier and heavier elements in a desperate race against time. As it collapses inward, its outer layers are blasted off into space, not slowly, but as if fired from a cannon at speeds approaching millions of kilometers per hour. These high-speed stellar winds carry away enormous amounts of mass, forming spiraling shock waves of gas, dust, and radiation. A cosmic hurricane so powerful, it reshapes the very fabric of the surrounding space. In fact, WR104 has already lost more than half of its original mass not over billions of years like normal stars, but in a cosmic blink, just a few hundred thousand years. What's left behind is the unstable, superheated core of a dying beast, a spinning, radioactive engine of destruction, and it's spinning fast, because it's what could focus the energy of its final explosion into a narrow, lethal beam. A beam so precise, so intense, that it could stretch across light years and still shred anything in its path. When this Titan dies, it would die in the most violent way known to science. Through a gamma ray burst, gamma ray bursts are the universe's most powerful explosions. They are not like the fiery blasts of supernova we've seen in telescopes. They are something else entirely, a focused beam of pure energy forged in the final seconds of a star's collapse, narrower than a laser, yet more destructive than a billion nuclear bombs detonating at once. In just a few seconds, a gamma ray burst can release more energy than our sun will emit in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. That's not an exaggeration, that's astrophysical fact. And if that beam happens to be pointed directly at Earth, we won't even see it coming. The gamma rays travel at the speed of light. And even today, with all our satellites, we can only detect a gamma ray burst after it begins. There's no early warning system, no global defense plan. If it comes, we learn about it after it has already struck. Scientists believe a gamma ray burst may have hit Earth around 450 million years ago, triggering 
the Ordovician mass extinction, which wiped out over 70% of marine species. No crater, no asteroid, just radiation. From a star we never saw. And if it has to happen again, then it would be cruel. In one second, Earth's upper atmosphere begins to ionize. High energy gamma rays tear through the ionosphere, stripping electrons from atoms. A chain reaction of electrical disruption begins. Satellites flicker and fail. Communication links drop. GPS, weather monitoring, and communication systems start to break apart. Silently, invisibly, without a single warning light to the people below. In five seconds, the ozone layer is obliterated. Not weakened, not damaged, just gone. Vaporized by the relentless energy of the gamma ray burst, leaving our planet fully exposed to the sun's ultraviolet radiation. UVC rays, normally filtered out completely, now reach the ground. Within moments, sunlight itself becomes hostile. Life beneath the sky becomes vulnerable. Skin burns faster. DNA begins to mutate, and the planet is no longer protected from what's always been above us. Five minutes after the impact, crops begin to show signs of stress. Leaves curl, dry at the edges, and lose color under the punishing light. Insects vanish. Bees abandon their hives. In one hour, the oceans begin absorbing the damage. The surface, once a shield of life, becomes a target. Ultraviolet radiation penetrates shallow waters, reaching depths it was never meant to touch. The first victims are the smallest, phytoplankton, microscopic, invisible, but essential. As they die, the very base of the marine food chain begins to collapse. Oxygen production, nearly half of what every living being breathes, is thrown into uncertainty. Coral reefs grow pale. Fish populations scatter, disoriented by the sudden change. In one year, global food systems collapse. Famine spreads, quietly at first, then violently. Supply chains fail. Crops don't grow. Oceans offer nothing. Weather patterns spiral into chaos. Seasons lose meaning. Droughts, floods, and storms arrive without warning and without end. Ecosystems crumble, species vanish, not one by one, but in waves. What begins in the oceans spreads to the forests, the plains, and the skies. A global mass extinction takes hold, and Earth is no longer Earth as we knew it. And it all began with a beam of energy from a star 7,500 light years away. WR104 reminds us, in a universe this vast, even silence can be deadly. This is That's How. See you in the next one. Until then, stay curious and thanks for watching.